I'd like to share with you one of my picture books, which is called Antarctic Dad, which I wrote, uh, but Kevin Burgermaster uh, did the illustrations of this, and authors and illustrators work together. Now, I have to say that I did go to the Antarctic on an expedition as a working writer in order to research this particular book, and uh, Kevin did the artwork based on the photographs that I brought back, but he also created his own polar ice ship design, which you can make for yourselves as well. So this is called Antarctic Dad, and it's uh, written with thanks to all the Antarctic expedition appearance who uh, helped contribute the ideas in this story. And it's also meant for any families who have a parent uh, working away from home for a long time, for whatever reason that may be. So this one's called Antarctic Dad. <clears throat> And it's a very special book uh, in many ways. Now, the pages alternate, and if you look at the colours, the very warm colours are meant to be the child living at home, and the cool, icy colours are of the Antarctic colours on the other pages. But the flaps that are so special in this book are meant to represent the emails that go backwards and forwards between those who work in the Antarctic for up to 14 months and their families back home. So the flaps are meant to be the emails going backwards and forwards. Where's your dad? Asked the kids at my new school. He's gone to work in Antarctica, I say. And this is the boy that's the story shaped around. They don't believe me at first, but then I show them the photos. Now this is where um, <clears throat> you can either read the inside of the flap first or you can read the top of the flap. It makes sense both ways. So you can play around with that when you're reading it with your family. Icebergs, penguins, and my dad wearing a furry hat or you can say, Dad's working at a station at the bottom of the world. He's wintering in the Antarctic, but he's coming back. Before Dad left, Mum had a really, oh, I can say a really good idea, but I wrote, had a good idea. We packed a fluffy toy in his backpack. Take a photo of Roo wherever you go, I said. Then we'll know what it's like where you are working. And this is an idea that some families really do use in the Antarctic, but it isn't always a kangaroo that they use. On the wharf, we waved goodbye as the polar ship left. I felt really sad until Dad threw streamers, and I caught one. Dad tied one to Roo's paw, and he nearly fell in. Now, we deliberately made that he nearly fell in, so you can work out and chat whether you think it's the room that nearly fell in, or the dad, or somebody else. Because the words in a story are just clues to the story as the pictures are, and you need to think about them. Dad has a new camera, but he hasn't read how to work it yet, so some of the photos are odd. It's because the ship rocks and rolls in the Southern Ocean, Dad says. And this is very much like the ship, on, the polar ship on which I went to the Antarctic, Australian Antarctic base of uh, Casey Station. We had a sports day at school. Brad's two dads came to see him run. My mum was working, but she got there for the relay and she took a photo of me coming last. Now, the design of this is that your eye goes round as if you're running around in the relay. To send to Dad, who emailed me, and there's all of the shots that Dad emailed him. He emailed him, good try. And he sent a picture of Rue running after a penguin. So Dad's keeping in touch with the boy. Brad thinks he knows everything. After school, he was mucking around at my place. What's that map on the wall? And that's actually the map of Antarctica, of course. I point, pointed, that's the station where my dad works. 
doesn't look like a railway station. We're learning a bit about Brad in this, this one. It isn't a, a, a train station. My dad doesn't drive trains. But he does ride zodiacs in the water and quads across the ice. There's the red shed where Dad sleeps. That's the green shed for the stores. We can read it the other way around. There's the helicopter in a blizz surrounded by big trucks to protect it. Cool, says Brad. Is your dad a pilot? No, but sometimes he flies. So you've got the cool colours of the Antarctic there. Be not one of those. <coughs> I like birds and animals. Antarctica has penguins, seals and whales. Mum likes the albatross best. Those birds stay together forever, she says. Like us, we hope. And that's true, that the albatross do stay in pairs for life. Dad emails me every day. Today I saw an emperor penguin. Mark it on our wildlife map. He gives me the coordinates. I draw a cross on my wildlife map of Antarctica. And there he is. That's another way that the dad keeps in touch with him. And quite a few families do, in fact, do that. That's where I got the idea from. At school, I show my class my photos and maps. This is where my dad saw an emperor. Is an emperor like a king of Antarctica? asked Brad. You should get the idea about the class laughs, but I know how he feels. Wildlife rules, okay, I said. My dad says they're huge like elephants, but the babies are called wieners. They're cute. Email me your homework to check, Dad writes. And then on the other page here. Next day, I show Brad a print out of the Ellie Seals. Ugly, says Brad. Now, if you look really, really closely on this, illustration here. The illustrator Kevin sent me up. He put me in the background of the picture as the author pinned up on the board with the Antarctic details and I didn't know that until the book came out. So he had a joke with me. And sometimes if you look very closely at the artwork, illustrators put their own families in or their dog or their house or their children and that's a nice thing to know. Miss Santana gave our class a project on weather in Antarctica. Antarctica isn't on the TV weather news map, said Brad. I can't do that project. Check my dad's internet site, I said. You can either read the top one or you can read the bottom. Dad used the station webcam to show what the Met guys do. They send up balloons to check on the weather. Met guys and meteorologists. Blizz means blizzard. The temperature might be as low as minus 20 Celsius. Cool, says my class. On my birthday, Dad was still away. Usually he runs the party games. I miss him a lot. And if you look in the artwork here, it's got, have a cool birthday, mate. Love, Dad. Mum made a birthday cake in the shape of Dad's bit of Antarctica, just like my wildlife map. Well, I have to say, before I went to Antarctica, my husband gave me a birthday party and he managed to get a cake shaped like the map of Antarctica. Um, it was an ice cream cake, so we had to eat it very quickly. So sometimes ideas come from real things that have happened. That night I got a birthday email from Dad. Rue was upside down on the barge with a big RTA on his bottom. Happy birthday from the bottom of the world. RTA means return to Australia. That's what my dad's going to do soon. So this is Antarctic Dad, by, illustrated by Kevin Burgermeister, who made models of a lot of the illustrations within this book. Um, so he's a very exciting illustrator to work with. And you should also have a look at the back of the book.
because the iceberg there is meant to represent some of the icebergs of Antarctica where nine tenths is underneath the surface and it's a bit like writing a book. You only see the bits that's above, you don't see all the work that goes underneath in the artwork and illustrations. So I hope you've enjoyed this reading at Parkdale's Kingston Library in Victoria, Australia and you can share it with the people in your family and especially if you've got a parent working away from home for a while.